Thank you very much, Lisa. Okay, so as Nigel said, I will tell you about the magic aspects of Sanjay Yoga. And as we heard, Sanjay Yoga is a spiritual um, meta, but it has been associated with health benefits. So I will tell you about the effects on the body, on the brain, on your health, and on diseases, mental and physical diseases. First of all, what is meditation? And Nigel has already explained more or less what meditation is. I will just say a few more words. So if you read the Oxford Dictionary, it says that meditation is thinking in silence. Now, first of all, you cannot think aloud. And secondly, thinking is, of course, the exact opposite of what meditation is as originally conceived in the East. So meditation, Patanjali was one of the first to talk about meditation, and he said that meditation is the cessation of thinking. It's the stopping of your thoughts, it's the control of your thoughts, the control of your attention. In the West, we, we know there are three states of consciousness, that's sleeping, dreaming, and thinking. But in the East, and we think that thinking is the highest state of consciousness, but the, in the East, it's very common knowledge that there is another state of consciousness. It's called the fourth state of consciousness, Tuvi Avasta. And the fourth state of consciousness is the state of thoughtless awareness, mental silence, where you learn to stop your thinking. And this process of stopping your thinking has amazing benefits at the subjective level, but also objectively. And uh, you feel, when you stop, your thoughts are stopped, you feel uh, happy, you feel joy, and depending on the intensity, you can feel absolute bliss. So there are several subjective correlates, what you feel when you meditate, which I've listed here, and which, however, have health implications. And as I said before, in the West, we are not really interested in spiritual things, but we are very much interested in our health, and in fact, we are obsessed with our health. And it's the health benefits which have actually attracted all the interest in Western science. So over the last years, there has been a lot of studies on meditation because people have realized meditation actually leads to better health. And so what do you feel when you meditate? You feel an overwhelming calmness. And this is a calmness which is, goes much more beyond normal relaxation. Because when you relax, you relax the body. And if you lie on the sofa, you may be relaxed. But if you worry about the future, you're not really relaxed. So when you're thoughtless, you don't just relax the body, you also relax the mind and your brain. And you can not do it with any other way. You can only do it by stopping to think, stopping to worry about the future, stopping to ruminate about the past and be in the present. So this overwhelming feeling of peace within calmness is associated with stress relief. And I'll show you later how. Uh, when you're mentally silent, you have a better mental balance. And this is because if you think about it, all mental disorders are actually characterized by thought, disorder, thought problems. If you have schizophrenia, you have paranoid thoughts. If you're obsessive compulsive, you have obsessive thoughts. If you're ADHD, you have racing thoughts. And if you're depressed, you have negative thoughts which ruminate, which you ruminate about. So it has also been shown that all disorders, all mental disorders, they have more mental clutter. This has been shown over recent years. And meditation, of course, is a reduction of the mental clutter, because that's what it is. You stop your thinking, so you have no mental clutter, or you have less mental clutter. So therefore, mental silence is a state of super mental balance, more than normal people have. So because if you meditate and you have less mental clutter than a normal person, you're super healthy and super balanced mentally. When you don't have any thoughts, you're much more concentrated and you're much more alert because you're pure consciousness without the content, which are the thoughts and emotions. And if you go through life, the whole day you throw out your thoughts and your emotions into the world and you don't really see reality as it really is because you constantly, you have the intermediation of your thoughts and your emotions. So when you have no thoughts, you much more, you absorb reality as it really is. So for example, if you're now listening to me, you may be thinking of the dinner later, and you may have to inhibit your thoughts in order to actually listen or attend. If you have no thoughts, you absorb information much quicker. And it has been shown that children who meditate have better attention at school. Zen Buddhists who have meditated for a long time have better attention 
And it has been associated with better productivity at work, because if you're more concentrated and have no matter clutter, you're actually more focused. Another very interesting feature, which I've said before, when you have no thoughts, you feel happy, you feel bliss, you feel joy. And this, of course, you, if you have these positive emotions during your meditation, because it's so peaceful and so pleasant, this state of mental silence, then you carry this over into, into daily life, and this leads to more positive emotions. And positive emotions, of course, protect you against depression, anxiety, affective disorders, and it's, of course, very good for you. And you have less negative thinking. Last but absolutely not least, to me this is the most important aspect of meditation, you achieve a state of emotional detachment. You, you, you enter witness state, where you actually go beyond your thoughts, because you're no longer thinking, and you're no longer having your emotions, but you see them from a stepping back witness state, we call it in psychology a metacognitive awareness, where you're beyond your thoughts, and you can observe them. And that's, I think, the most important thing uh, of meditation, most important aspect. And if you remember, Buddha went out to find meditation because he realized there's a lot of suffering in the world. And how do you deal with the suffering? You cannot control the life events. We all have negative life events. You know, your parents will die eventually, people you love may die, you may have a divorce. Whatever happens to you, um, you cannot really control those life events. But what you can control is how you actually deal with those life events and how you perceive them. You can control your state of mind and your thoughts and your emotions. And that you do via meditation. And that's the only way. Only through meditation you can actually enter a witness state, which makes you emotionally more resilient. And I think this is the most important aspect of meditation, because who wouldn't want to be happy and sail through life in a sort of serene, happy, joyful way without being carried away on a roller coaster of emotions constantly, depending on what happens to you? So I think this is crucial. And of course, the state of meditation, uh, of thoughtless awareness, you may have seen, and it has been described in all mystical uh, uh, traditions of all cultures. Here, just a few names Nirvana, Sahaj Samadhi, Satori yoga, which means union, Zen, Tao, and in the West we had our own meditation, our, our own tradition of, of uh, mental silence, which were the Christian Gnostics, and Gnosis means, of course, knowledge, which means the knowledge of yourself, and that yourself, you're not just these thoughts and these emotions, but you're a different thing, you're actually a spiritual person which can go beyond the thoughts and emotions. So the claims I will try to prove to you today and show you medical evidence is that meditation, in fact, has an effect on the body because mental silence reduces stress and it activates the parasympathetic nervous system which restores bodily functions. I will show you that meditation has an effect on the brain. Uh, mental silence is a different state of consciousness. You activate different areas of the brain of deep attention, of um, uh, positive emotions, and there is a release of happy chemicals, which make you joyful. Now, meditation is a good way to prevent illness because mental silence leads to better physical and mental health. And lastly, I will show you that you can use it as a therapy. So if you have any mental or physical problems, you can actually solve them with meditation.